Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to Read to Me, Miss Tracy. I'm your hostess, Miss Tracy, with the most is, of course, no shade to all the other story time readers. You know, I'm just saying. I've got the most is. And I'm ready to read you another story, because that's what we do on Read to Me, Miss Tracy. We read fabulous stories to fabulous readers and listeners like yourselves, right? So be sure to like us and share us and subscribe to that little red button right there. Hit that little red button right there, right there. Yes, click on it and then tell your friends about us. We have a lot of fun here at Read to Me, to, read to me Miss Tracy. Um, and oh, and if there's a story that you like to hear that I haven't read to you yet, please put it in the comments section and guess what? I will read it to you, honey. Yes, I will. I love bringing books to life here. So without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now we've been talking about back to school stuff. So we've got another school story. School bus, that's what that says. And look, we've got all the animals on their way to school. This is William B. Stanley's school. Hmm. So that's what we're going to read about that today. All right, here we go. William B., William B. Oh, and this says property of the St. Louis Public Library. That's because I checked them out at the library. I don't have to buy all these books, honey. Yeah, that's expensive. And then they got all the stuff. I've got a vast library, but hey, I can check them out. And then other kids like yourselves can go and check them out. Oh, looks like we got all of our school supplies and everything. We got crayons, we've got glue, pencils, pencil sharpeners, erasers, calculators, doo -doo 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 scissors. Shh, don't run with the scissors. Oh, and there's a ruler, clips, highlighters, protractors. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I guess that's that's more of a marker. More pencil sharpeners. Oh, and we've got more markers. All right, let's see. Well, it looks like we're almost ready. William B. Stanley School. All right, here we go. This is Stanley School. It's going to be another busy day at Stanley School. Oh, of course. Hattie brings the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Time for school. The children hang up their hats, bags, and teddy bears. Gotta have those. Stanley calls the children's names. Little Woo, Sophie, and Benjamin all here. Well, there we go. We got numbers, crayons, 8, 3, B, 5, C, A. All right. Looking like a typical classroom. So far, so good. Stanley reads the children a story about a dragon, a knight, and a princess. Sophie dresses up as the dragon, Little Woo dresses up as a knight, and Benjamin dresses up as a princess. Well, everybody has to have their part, you know. No biggie. He seems to be okay with it. After story time, it's play time! Woohoo! Little Woo, Sophie, and Benjamin act out the story Stanley has just read to them. But... Benjamin has made up a new ending. Rawr! Wait a minute. That's not the noise a princess makes, Benjamin. Hmm. I don't know about that, Benjamin. Stanley, Little Woo, Sophie, and Benjamin are all in the school's garden. They have come to measure their sunflowers. Benjamin and Sophie have watered their sunflowers every day. Don't they look big? But little Woo forgot to water his. Aw, little Woo, poor little one. Little plant isn't doing any well. It's doing very well. After all that storytelling, measuring, and chasing about, it's time for lunch. I think I heard my stomach growling. There is cheese and tomato pie for everyone. Stanley has made some lemonade, and Hattie has made a lovely fruit salad. Mmm, yummy. Then it's time for a little nap. <laughs> mm. 
Little Wu, Sophie, and Benjamin love painting some of the paint. Well, love painting. Some of the paint ends up on the paper, and the rest ends up on the floor, the tables, and on Stanley and Hattie. Oh, brother. They've got, it looks like there's more paint on the floor in the, in the kiddos. Huh? Sheesh. I think it's that kind of fun of it, isn't it? Hattie rings the bell. Ding, ling, 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 ling. It's time to go home. Thank you, Stanley. Thank you, Hattie. Everybody's getting on the school bus. Well, what a busy day. Stanley's back at home with all the paint still on him. Oh, brother. Time for supper. Time for a bath. He's got the soap, bubbles. <laughs> Stanley's in the bathtub. And time for bed. Good night, Stanley. The end. Hmm, not bad. You can get this story, like I said, at your local library. Check it out like I did at the St. Louis Public Library. Yeah. And you can also order it online or order from your local bookstore. Either way, you're still going to get a great book and a great story. If you like that story, hit that little thumbs up. Hit the little, you know, click it, click, click. Hit the thumbs up. Tell me what you like about it. If you want to hear another story, I'll be happy to read that story. All you got to do is just ask. Say, read to me, Miss Tracy. Oh, see how that works? And I'll be happy to read it. In the meantime... See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly.